Hello everybody, it is John and today we are looking at, well I bit the bullet and decided that I would get myself the latest edition of Call of Cthulhu. Yes, yes, I bankrupted myself to get this I'll have you know. <laughs> They're not cheap, not cheap at all. This is the very first edition of Call of Cthulhu that I ever had. And uh, this one is the 1981 copyright. And I, as far as I can tell, this is the first edition. Um, if I'm wrong, well, I'm quite sure that somebody will point this out to me. But look, I've um, really enjoyed this edition. It's certainly um, one of my favourite games. And certainly this game itself was really hammered. Uh, when I was a lot younger. So, uh, yes, so the... I uh, don't know whether or not the character sheet's changed a lot. I don't think it has, but uh, I'm really quite happy once again with my old edition. So it's in really good nick too. This came in a box set. So, uh, but that's that's it. But more importantly, let's have a look at what I've picked up. So I picked up the Investigator's Handbook and the Keeper's Rule Book. So these, look, these are still in their, uh, in their seal. And uh, so let's see how we, uh, how we go with having a look at what's in here. So I think, I think Chaosium was saying that they sold was it them? No, it might have been another company. It might have been Peso, I think. But anyway, they've sold that. They've said that you know, in the two weeks that the debacle with um, D and D and the OGL license, that uh, they've literally sold so much stock. And I'm I'm really happy. You know, D and D is not the only role playing game that exists. It's just one that's sort of um, yeah. But anyway, this is more importantly the. Call of Cthulhu. So, uh, an introduction, obviously a story. I think if it goes by f other other work, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with glare. I hope it's not going to be too bad. Um, so, creating characters, the occupation, skills, organisations, life of an investigator, um, the Roaring Twenties. So yeah, I'm going to set mine, uh, my adventures here in Brisbane from the 1920s and I've currently been raiding my uh, local library for material, newspaper clippings and all sorts of things and it's just amazing how much information you can get from the past to use in your adventures as they are uh, portrayed in this, in this book. So as you can see, it is beautifully laid out. Um, you know, I, I guess it's a pity it's so expensive, but nevertheless, this book will last. I think that if I'm going to, um, if I'm going to play this and the players don't have their own copy, uh, I think I will probably have to do what I normally don't like doing is actually charge the players to uh, to buy a uh, a communal copy. So you know, at only ten dollars or something a piece to buy. Um, a copy that everyone can share, I think, is a small price to pay for my time. But uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, that's the that is the book, and I really do quite like the look. Actually, this is even better, is the fact that you've got an example of what the rifles look like, because otherwise I had to go look up all my gun books to find out what the heck was uh, what the heck was happening. So anyway, so that's the. That's the investigator's handbook. Really happy, really happy with that. So let's pop that over there. Might go and uh, look. I'll do that. I'll stick that back up there. Yes, I'm in another part of the house at the moment. My table downstairs is all filled due to the fact that I have a problem with termites in my house downstairs, and I'm trying to save all my board games from being eaten. So this is the keeper's book, which is the all important one, which I will be using. And uh, it's, how many pages is this? Quite a substantial, about 446. And uh, this is 
really quite good. So I'm going to have to get the... I think they've got a book that deals with um, the Mythos creatures. But uh, I am quite happy with all this. It's a pity they couldn't have done what they did with the previous issues with everything was in in one book, but I guess they're a company and they need to make money. So there you go. That is my old, which is still my favourite, to the new. And I'll see what that looks like in time to come. I've just got to go find myself some investigators. So look, everybody, thank you very much for having a watch at my latest acquisition. So till next time. Oh, I should say before I finish off that uh, I must thank my good friends Mark and Fiona at Games World, Carindale and Capellabar uh, for having gotten in Call of Cthulhu. So I'm very happy for that. So uh, yes, I'm just going to take a pre brief switch now because the uh, producer has uh, been spoilt today. So let's have a look at what he's up to. And what have you got down there? Have you got a new toy? Did I buy you a new toy today? You going to show everybody how much you love your toy? No? Said Dad, I don't do, I don't perform in front of cameras. You should know that by now. Anyway, everybody, look, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.